Hi friends, welcome to this video where we're going to look at some trig functions that are outside the first revolution of the unit circle. Yeah, that was a mouthful. <laughs> But welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Marissa May, and I do a lot of math instruction videos, hoping to make things just a little bit simpler for you. Now, friends, I want you to notice that these angles inside of the trig functions, they're in radians. And I don't know about you, but I don't think in radians. So I got to convert those to something that I understand a little bit better. I'm going to take my 19 pi over 3, and I'm going to convert this to degrees. So I'm going to multiply that by 180, 180 degrees over pi. And definitely notice that those uh, pies cancel out. And then you can just do your multiplication, 19 times 180, then divide by 3. Looks like that's 1140, 11, or 1140 degrees. Now, if you think about your unit circle, your unit circle all the way around, well, for any circle, is 360 degrees. So this 1140 degrees, that's not even on the first revolution. So if I subtract the first revolution, I get 780. And again, that's not even on the second revolution. So we'll subtract 360 again. It gives me 420. That's not even on the third revolution, right? So I'm going to subtract 360 again, and I land with 60. So that means three times around. But on the fourth time around, I just go to 60 degrees. So let's just draw an angle in the first quadrant with 60 degrees, since that's where it would land. Now think about your special right triangles. You have a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle, and your 30 has to have be opposite the shortest leg, which is one in your ratio. 60 is your square root of three, and of course your hypotenuse there is two. So go ahead and label across from the 60 is your square root of three, across from your right angle is two, and then the, op the other side has to be one. So let's talk about sine, okay? Couple of ways you can do this. So I'm gonna mention a few of them. Some of you may have learned Sakatoa. And this is where sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? So the opposite here would be square root of three, the hypotenuse would be two, and so sine of this would be square root of 3 over 2. Others of you may have learned that sine is y over r. And again, in this triangle, notice the y value, the vertical component, is square root of 3. And the r, the radius of the circle, would be 2. Okay, either one works. Look at cosine. If you learned Sakatoa, you learned that cosine was the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Well, in this triangle, the adjacent is 1, and the hypotenuse is 2. And finally, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so we get square root of 3 over 1 or just square root of 3. So I hope this is a good review for some of your trig functions. Think about those angles, convert them to degrees so they make them a little bit easier to understand, and then find out how many times you had to go around and then where you land on the final rotation. 